You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with the start of this round. Kevin Holland has had a lot of big moments in the UFC. He is now competing exclusively in the welterweight division. And he's willing to fight guys that a lot of these welterweights are not, calling for matchups against the likes of Sean Brady and others. First order of business, this high-profile clash here tonight. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Brickhouse Brady. Establishing the jab here. Shot to the body, turned back by Holland. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Kick to the body now. Here. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice level team. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Holland. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. He's getting very close to the submission. It's a fight now. Who's going to win this position? Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Holland's cut above the eye. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice uppercut. Those are big strikes. Brady goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Great kick to the body. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Back kick there. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Two minutes to go in round one. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Unable to connect with the rope. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Trying to go... Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Holland's eye now closing up. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Holland gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Oh, 
look at that. Gets smacked in the face, and now he wants to talk. So that means that his opponent got him good. Right. <laughs> All right, take a deep breath. All right, perhaps mercifully, that is the end of the round, and Brady's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Do here we are, early round two. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, nice kick. Colin gets caught by the straight punch. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. a right hand out of that exchange. And misses with the right hand. Oh, he lands that too. Distance management. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, somehow he gets out fantastic. Submission D. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Open him right up. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Beautiful. Nice jab by Brickhouse Brady. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Beautiful kick lands. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, man, that was slick. Back to the feet now. Come on, Some separation. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Clinch work. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting for certain. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands up top, you could see the damage that it's inflicted, the, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. 
making all these shots count. Beautiful transition. Holland's back in full guard. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. He's got to be careful here. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Ten seconds to go in the round. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission. Oh, Big round of power. Ten minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner, and Holland's eye is really looking pretty bad after those five minutes. We'll see what the cut man can do about it. But if he doesn't get the swelling to subside, that eye could swell shut. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. And able to land that kick to the chin. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. the jab here nicely done by Brickhouse Brady. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Swing and a big miss by Hunt. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Holland's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Attempts the front kick there. Nice jab by Holland. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Looking to land the right just out of range. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Brickhouse Brady's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, pausing the action here, and if the referee calls for the doctor, this could very well be the end of the fight, given all that swelling around the eye. It could be, and rightfully so. His eye is swollen shut. He cannot see his opponent. He's flailing at him. Can't find his target anymore. Doctor corrals the referee. It looks as though this fight will continue, at least for now, but certainly that swelling bears watching as we move forward. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield, and that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they are thrilled. They start booing, and sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side of his head. 
Brady's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Throwing that jab, no good. Trying to establish that jab once again. Holland's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse as this fight continues. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival mode. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut and... Oh, no! Hurt him bad. Clipped him with the right hand there. Another one landed flush by Holland. Oh! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sean.